had a car crash when I was 15. My oldest sister seemed to be the only one who recognised there was a change in me. More snappy, more volatile, more standoffish, that type of thing, won't back down. So, that in question, like I say, he's been smacking my mum around for the last four years. Police have done nothing about it. I'm getting a bit old, or I think it's my responsibility to look after me. I'm like a brother and my sisters, and so on. Uh, this night in question, I overhear me, my mum's out with her, my sisters and her mate. And his party trick used to be he'd call around my mum's house, no answer. It don't matter, I presume. She's out with the daughters, they wait in the garden when she comes rolling home at 12 or whatever. Give her a slap, whatever. So, early on in the night, He's, uh, I overhear my mum talking that he's been round giving my mum a slap, that type of thing. And I just automatically oh, thought, I'm going to get my mum home that night in the taxi. Simple as that. Uh, as I am doing so, my mum just give a flippant remark and said he's even had the cheek to fucking move there near my mum. I pulled the taxi over. Taxi driver was moaning. Mum was moaning at me. Me and my mum got out of the taxi. Uh, Mum didn't want me to go and confront him, making things worse, but she was trying to deter me. As simple as that. I won't have none of it. My mum took off. The taxi took off because he got sick of waiting. My mum went. Uh, I didn't think he'd be in the house. I thought I'd wreck his house, piss him off, whatever. Give him a cause to have it pissed off with me, rather, than my mum sort of attitude, you know what I mean? I say 18, not thinking clearly. Drink as well. Play the part, got to have. Uh, ended his house, have a confrontation with him. So that's called me an English bastard, you're not leaving, stuff like that. Goes to smack me, I, I smack him, he falls back into a chair. Goes fucking berserk, pick an hammer up, his hammer. And uh, sadly, yeah, beat him to death with it. Formed an ambulance, because he had no intent to go around and hurt uh, anyone. I had the intent of standing up for myself if there was a confrontation there. But that was the last thing on my mind. Like I say, clouded with drink as well. 18 year old and not putting any spin on it or any blame on it. But facts are facts. I did have some kind of brain injury, so that did cloud how, how my brain operated, sort of thing, you know what I mean? So that would have affected me. Uh, even like medication, I had some medication while I was on for a damaged hand. Shouldn't have drank with why you should have been on them. So things like that, I don't know, I'm not putting a spit uh, blame on it. I'd made from day one, I did kill the guy, and on, end off, you know what I mean? So, please say to me, mother, do you think it's your son who's killed George? Your mum's a staunch woman, my mum, you know, simple as that, right? He's on the... On your toe, my mum would put you up all day, James. Right? So, police have just said to me, Mum, do you think it's your son who's killed George? And my mum said, No, Scott's only eight years old or seven years old. Left me right out of the equation. I get nicked three days later or something. They went, must have presumed, right? She knew all about it, blah, blah, blah. They nicked me mum with manslaughter. I never even entered the fucking house. I know people who've stabbed someone to death and got done for manslaughter. How can my mum get done with that? So my mum gets done with manslaughter and perverting the cause of justice or something like that. Mum's in jail. Bear in mind, she got two twins of seven years. Eight years old the day I got arrested. Uh, there was. So she's been taken away from them. Uh, then I get the most shittiest legal team you can imagine. Burton and Copeland solicitors, my macker. Saw me right down the river, gets me a QC, Enricus, Enri Richard Enricus, or whatever you called, Lord. Don't know where, fucking Lord. But I met him once and he said, open and shut manslaughter case, blah, blah, blah. Simple as that. He'd be home in about six, seven. You're okay. Uh, go to court for trial. You get me to one side, so we struck a deal with the uh, CPS. You plead guilty to murder, your mum can go on. I'm happy with it. But I also consider myself as not being in sound mind of making that judgment as well, considering the injury what 
I started to realise they had a few years later. And what I mean by that is I told the court, when, when you nick for something serious, you get interviewed, court appointed psychiatrist. I told him of a serious car crash and all he put in a report was Mr. Southward saw me with a serious car crash, brain damage, question mark. But it's too late in the day to take, chase anything up because the case goes in front of the Crown in two weeks' time. Now, when a Dr. Peter Pratt examined me 18 years later for a pro report, he was gobsmacked that I'd been in so long due to the circumstances and stuff like that. And he said that in interviewing me for like, say, four hours, like he was getting paid for, he said, can he interview you all week sort of thing? And he did. And a load of tests and so on and so on. And his basically his findings was I would have been suffering from brain damage from at that area at that time. And it would have took around about three years to heal. And in that time, I would have been volatile, et cetera, et cetera. So I wouldn't have been in sound mind. Uh, I genuinely think in probably the law, and I've spoken to some people in the law, and they've all said that would have been diminished responsibilities if that would have been known. Could have walked free for that, could have got two years for that. Uh, so pleaded Giller. This is where I think the judge was wrong. Judge pressed. He was shocked. He was absolutely shocked that one minute I'm going not guilty all the way. From day one, going not guilty for murder. Simple as that. The moment of go to court trial, I've changed it. He was gobsmacked. What he should have done, he stopped proceedings, got everyone down downstairs and said, yeah, what the fuck's going on? What have you promised him? You know, he's changed from this to that. What he did do is he wrote in a statement saying, which is there, saying, I accept there was no intention to kill or cause grievous bodily harm. They sent me to for eight years. That eight years meant nothing. Ended up doing 29 years. 